Good morning, riders. I'm Chris Franco, and welcome back to CR Rider News. Today is Friday, November 13th, and just a reminder, Hybrid starts next week with Group C. Starting off our episode, we're going to head over to our nurses, and they're going to talk to us about the importance of wearing a mask properly. Then Elizabeth Belanger is going to show us an inside look at what the FBI is all about. James is going to show us some insight on our local CR artists, and then Adriano will close out with a motivational moment. It's important to wear cloth face coverings when you're out in public and around people who don't live in your household. Face coverings act as a barrier to help slow or reduce the spread of COVID-19. Check with your school for information on face covering policies. Wash your hands before putting on your face covering. Put it over your nose and mouth and secure it under your chin. Fit it snugly against the sides of your face, but make sure you can breathe easily. Don't put the face covering around your neck or on your forehead and don't touch it. If you do, wash your hands. Never share or swap face coverings. When you get home, carefully take off your face covering by stretching the ear loops or untying the strings behind your head. Fold the outside corners together and put it aside for washing. Then wash your hands. Cloth face coverings should be washed and dried after use each day. Label your face covering with your name or initials. Bring a backup in case it's needed. In addition to wearing cloth face coverings, remember to follow everyday healthy habits. Wash your hands often, stay six feet away from others, and stay home if you're sick. If you have any questions about wearing a face covering at school, contact your school nurse a trusted resource for students, parents, and staff. Did you know that out of the 496 names that were on the FBI's most wanted list, they have caught or located 465 of those names? The Federal Bureau of Investigation, also known as the FBI, is a national security organization that protects and defends the United States of America. The FBI investigates a number of crimes, such as terrorism, organized crimes, counterintelligence, cyber crimes, white-collar crimes, and so on. Some well-known cases that the FBI have investigated was the anthrax investigation, where letters were laced with the infectious diseased anthrax. The Unabomber, a once-anonymous person who built and sent untraceable bombs to random targets, or Bonnie and Clyde, the most notorious crime couple in America. People may think that the FBI only has a limited amount of jobs, but since the FBI investigates numerous crimes, many different fields are needed in this organization. Some jobs are special agents, linguistics, forensic accountants, surveillance investigators, and intelligence analysts. The training needed for every job is different. For example, if someone wants to become a special agent, you would need to pass all the requirements and you would have to go through a 20-week training process that is both physically and mentally challenging. For more information, you can go to www.fbi.gov. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I have a new segment to introduce to you. I call it Art of the Week. Every week, I will bring on an artist, and of course their work, and present that art to you, the audience. And by audience, I mean anyone who's watching and who's not asleep. Yeah, I know you're asleep. But anyway, I show the art. They get to talk about it. It's great fun, and we get to share the wonderful artists here that we have at CR. First, we have a good friend of mine, Jacob Mackey, who drew this really cool Bowser drawing. Like, I like how it, his maw is kind of alligator-esque, and on some of the claws you can see some of the, the knuckles, kind of, which is really cool. It's really nice attention to detail, and especially on that shell. That's really cool. Now, Jacob. Do you have any advice to new people trying to get into art themselves on what they should do or anything that helped you when you first started? Well, James, what I would say to all of the artists that are struggling out there right now is to keep on striving and never give up, even when it seems like your ideas are turning out bad, elaborate on them and keep on, keep on working and persevering 
so you can get an excellent piece out there for everyone to see. That's really good advice, Jacob. Thank you. And also, thank you for coming onto our, onto our show. And anyone else that wants to put in their pieces, um, I haven't set up anything for people to get in contact yet, but I will eventually. And hopefully this will get the word out so people will donate, not donate, allow me to present their pieces, I guess. This is a weird thing for me. <laughs> but anyway, that is all for this segment. And now I have to run because now they're trying to put me back in the cage they've had me for the past week and they will never take me alive. So this is Motivational Moment with Adriana. Mother Teresa once stated, spread love everywhere you go. Let no one ever come to you without leaving happier. 2020 has definitely not been what anyone has expected, but this doesn't give us the excuse to stop continuing to spread positivity. The only way we're going to get through this obstacle together is through the spread of love and kindness to all. The pandemic has given us the wonderful opportunity to reflect on those around us and to find ways to serve them and bring a little joy into their lives. This has been Motivational Moment with Adriana. That's all for this week. I'm Chris Franco, and this has been Rider News.